That's a bike in the water. I have no idea what that bike did to the person. For them to throw it there. Yeah, let me try to zoom in. You can see it's a bike. I mean, this is just a river. And you can see there's so many things thrown down there. And maybe we just need to clean up a little bit of the river. Let's see, zoom more. <coughs> Where is the bike? Yeah. Can you see all the things down there? In the river? Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's a bike. Interesting. It's like we we can't have good things without spoiling them because we also want to feel important because we throw things in the river and then we come and clean and we say look at me I clean the river but the truth is fish or any other sea animal they don't throw things in the river or in the sea anyway that's my thoughts and uh, it's a bit sad anyway back to i live just here in that block on the end next to the brown yeah and guess what i have been in such a dark place that i actually forgot that the light has come until six o'clock in the evening interesting <clears throat> so that was nice to just get up uh, or not get up, but uh, today it's been uh, a free day so I've been busy <laughs> it's a very funny kind of colors with the sundown but this is so amazing because this is almost like in Kenya when the Sun is going down you know the sundown and uh, oh. but of course the color is very different but it's so nice to finally have Sun at six o'clock or light mm -hmm. look at the end so from my apartment to the river it's maybe less than 50 steps yeah. and that's the main E18 mm. yep so I want to talk as I as I walk but uh, I think it's going to be very shaky but what I'm going to say I'm going to talk about um, for example where I've been and what I have seen and what I've not seen and I have been in this really 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 dark place and I mean you know things happening around me losing two very precious people in my life and I got deep into a place I have never ever in my life been and you know for me it's been such a hard time that time has been standstill you know so I didn't actually realize it's today for the first time that I realized that oh it's 17 o'clock and we still have uh, light even though every day I wake up I go I go to school I go to work and every day I have I'm coming back to the house late so that means I actually look outside but I have never paid attention to exactly what time the Sun is going down or what the time the Sun is coming up 
I have just been like a robot. I've just been operating. But it's been really fun. The last one week, it's been really good for me. I have to admit that. So, I haven't really posted anything because, like I said, time has been on standstill. <clears throat> lots of emotions, lots of uh, thinking, lots of uh, asking myself why and how can I do it differently. And when the negativity has come my way, actually it's very interesting that that's something that I've really not paid attention to. Uh, to. So I have really paid attention to, you know what, life goes on, yes, but what can I do better? And I've gone through a, a whole lot of things I want to do and things that I have really thought that, you know, this world or lessons that I've learned that this world is not, we don't live for everyone, we live for us. And it's not about what you do, it's about how you do it and how you want to do it and why you do it. And it's not about any any other reason. You can do it as well as you want. Well and good. Pasha <laughs> good. But um, you do it for you. Now, when you do it for you or when you do it for the good of the society or for humanity, if it leaves some steps that people remember you for it, well and good. But don't wake up in the morning and say, oh, I'm going to do this because I want to be remembered when I'm gone. No. I've seen the most spectacular people uh, or who have done spectacular jobs dying and really not even being remembered for the things they did so I have had a lot of uh, you know me time thinking and thinking you know what I just want to do it differently I want to do it for me I want to do it for the human society. What I think it sits right with me, morally. Because there are some people who do the things they will do because they think it's right for them, but it's morally it's not right. So, yep. So you can see. The light is coming. Most buildings here. So I think I will just go all the way to the bridge and then come back to the other side and back to the apartment and probably relax a bit and uh, find out what I'm going to do for the evening. But no matter what, do the things you do for you and do them because they feel right as long as you don't hurt other people as long as you're doing it with a clean heart and as long as you know it's good for the environment and for the people of the world not because someone told you oh you have to do this no and I can repeat myself as much as I want to but I think <coughs> there are things we have been told so many times, but we still haven't learned. So, yes, so it was very interesting to see. You can be in a dark place and everything around you is dark. Yet the outside world is as bright as it can be. And that's where I've been. That's, I think, the lesson I want you to take with you. So... Sometimes you just have to get out and do the things that you don't want to do. Have a small walk and sometimes just look around and see the beauty. 
because there's beauty everywhere you go you just have to look around you just have to stop for a minute and look around and i think that's what is important we can get so absorbed in the negativity and and we think oh this is so bad this is the end of it this is it i don't see the end of this no trust in me there is some light everywhere we just have to sometimes stop and look for it and sometimes it's right next to you but sometimes we are paying attention so far away or so within us and it's not working so oh it's starting to get cold but i'm not cold yeah what do you think it's it's beautiful up here just listen to how calm it is yes that's how calm it is don't ask me where the norwegian people are i think they're in the house as long as the houses are lit <laughs> but anyway that's typical norwegian the lights on yes they are in the house but uh, at the same time they are very quiet people no loud music no nothing yeah 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 so i have to say i hope you understand my situation and i hope we can get to interact more and but for now i have to say peace and go help oh we can do jema and uh, much love from this village girl yes hada